A ship's service comes to an end. This month, the Navy decommissioned USS Monterey. The guided missile cruiser had been part of the fleet for 32 years, most recently based at Naval Station Norfolk. And during that time, the ship was part of a lot of important operations. Philip Townsend opens the vault and takes us back. Chris Bertels had only been a sailor for three months. It was 1989 when he was assigned to USS Monterey, a guided missile cruiser, also new to the Navy. And we did all the first together. He was there for Monterey's commissioning months later in Mayport, Florida, 1990. Before its maiden voyage, the ship required a search and rescue swimmer on board. Chris jumped at the opportunity. So I was the first ever search and rescue swimmer on board her, and uh, we, we went on the... The maiden voyage, we went on a Mediterranean cruise with her. He would spend the next four years with the Monterey, a pivotal time in his 14-year naval career. So there was a sense of pride when he learned last week the cruiser's 32-year run in the fleet came to an end. The decommissioning at Naval Station Norfolk. I thought, wow, what a run. You know, what a run. It essentially is my naval career memory, is the USS Monterey. Today, Chris lives in Texas, carrying with him fond memories of his favorite ship in the fleet. Memories he can recall like they were yesterday. And uh, one of the things that I remember the most is our breakaway song after we did an underwear replenishment was taking care of business. And our first captain, Joel B. Heaton, we called him 33 Matt Heaton, and he kicked that thing in flank. He would put it in double flank if we had it and do that hard right rudder. And uh, to this day, I still get goosebumps from those moments. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. USS Monterey spent six years stationed in Florida before calling Naval Station Norfolk home in 1996. All right, let's